All right, welcome back to another video. I'm kind of lagging right now because I am uploading, but I'm here completing the Lumbridge and Draenor medium diaries, so not too bad. There is the Explorer's Ring 2, and I will leave this teleports to uh, the patch, just a bit of the cabbage patch. I don't know how many times a day. I think it's maybe three times a day. I'm not entirely sure, and I can also alk on it and recharge the run energy, so it's pretty useful ring, actually. Um, so that's quite nice to get out of the way. I'm going to move on now and do the Varric one, hopefully. What a strange place to get a hit points level. <laughs> 110 combat as well, what the fuck? Okay, 93 HP, 110 combat, and I'm doing a fucking quest. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Nice milestone. Whoever made this quest must have been on some fucking other shit. That was weird. Varrock Medium is done. Very nice. That'll give me some more daily battle staffs. So I'm not entirely sure how many, but I'll go buy some. And finally, there we go, completed the medium tasks in the Western Provinces area. Beautiful. And I didn't get an XP drop. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't get an XP drop for that. That was weird. But 73 Herblor, very, very nice indeed. And now I'm going to go and collect a load of secondaries to use all my herbs because I do have a lot of banked herb XP, as I said before. Um, so yeah, let's go get some secondaries and get some more Herblor levels. A few hours later, I have gathered quite a lot of secondaries. I've got 1.2k fungus. 950 snake grass, 500 spider eggs, and then all the rest. Um, I don't have the blue dragon scales. I might get them in the future at some point, but I don't really need anti fires at the moment. Um, but they are nice for herb XP, but they're just the secondary is quite annoying to get. Anyway, I'm going to use all these, see how much herb XP I get. Hopefully, I can get up to at least 76 ish herb lore. Maybe not that much, but um, I'll be able to boost quite easily for stamina at that point anyway. So. That'll be nice. I'll be back with any Herblor levels. Yeah, level 75 Herblor, quite nice. And okay, clean Torstals, that's rather nice. I don't think I can actually, uh, well, Super Combat Potion level 90, and I won't be using my Torstals until then anyway, so kind of pointless, but not bad. Um, hopefully, I do have 77 banked. It's looking pretty hopeful. Um, if worst comes to worst, I will get the blue uh, Dragon Scale Dust, but I have. Nice amount of Quan potions, a lot of Avanto potions, they'll get me quite far, and obviously a thousand Irrit as well, so... I don't know, I'll see you with 77 if I get it, if not, I will see you, I guess, if I don't. <laughs> okay, big Herblor level coming in at 77, and I can now make Stamina potions unboosted, that is amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these Super Attacks, and then I will finish or make some Stamina potions. I do, I think, have quite a few Marks of Grace. 140, so that should get me a good amount of stamina, which should last me a while. Um, so yeah, that's very nice. One more Herbal level, actually, um, and I can make the... Where is it? Yeah, Strong Beachy Leaf Potions, which are going to be very nice for raids. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to start raids pretty soon, actually. So hopefully I get that fairly soon. Alright, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make the Pool of Restoration, and I will now upgrade it to the Revitalization Pool. Very nice. So, um, yeah, that's level 80, that's going to be pretty far off, but this is very nice to have because uh, it's going to regen, I think, my health and run energy, so not bad at all. I decided to come and do some Blast Furnace because I got Staminas, and you kind of need Staminas for Blast Furnace, so there is level 70 Smithing. I guess I'll see you with 75 if I don't get bored. Right, there we go, 75 Smithing coming in, beautiful, I can now make Adamant Spears. Or Hastas, um, which is actually a diary requirement. I do have that completed almost, um, so I can go ahead and do the Candorin Hards, which is useful for um, that's Fremenic, not Candorin. Uh, it's useful for agility because you can teleport to the um, right to the start of the agility course. So yeah, that's the last requirement I did. Not bad, 75 smithing. I might stop there to be honest. I'm not sure. I do have a little bit more gold ore left, 4,000. So that's a little bit of XP. That might be another level or so. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to stop and go and do something else. I'll probably go do a farm run and then I don't fucking know. Something else. <laughs> there we go, mate. Finished the hard tasks in Kandarin Diaries. Beautiful. That goes on Herblor, of course. And Kandarin Headgear 3, that's very nice for teleporting to Sherlock once a day. Obviously, uh, not brilliant. But the main thing is I can now use the teleport that brings you like right around here, which is going to be very useful for agility. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly get 76 agility. I think um, that seems 
good because I obviously need it for the Zora shortcut. So anyway, let's go do that and then I'll move on and probably do some Slayer. 73 farming and 18.75 total. Not bad. And I can now grow in Lantern Dimes. I think I have a few seeds in the bank, so that is not bad. So I have this elite clue in the bank. I'm on the seventh step right now, and I got the uh, lava maze one. There's a couple of pures here, but hopefully should be alright. I'm not scared of the fucking pures. I swear to God, if I die to a pure on hardcore Iron Man, I I would just quit the entire game forever. Anyway, seems safe. All right, that was actually very fast. Got the casket. Let's see what we get. I don't know which hard clue. I mean, elite clue this is, but probably gonna be shit. Yeah. It's not too bad, 160k and like 8th Elite Clue Scroll. Hey, okay, that is 55 rune crafting. I'm going to stop there. The reason I came to do this is because I need a few Cosmics for Mage Training Arena. So I'll be right back with probably Infinity Boots. All right, fuck this place. It is terrible. But Infinity Boots have been claimed. There we go, the first piece of the... Uh, Mage training and a stuff. I think I'm also going to get in the future, obviously, bones to peaches for the diary. Um, I might get a major's book or I might just wait until Fossil Island and get the. Uh... That's. <laughs> Mage book 726 mil. Oh, yeah, it's saying 100 of them, right. Um, but yeah, and I also might get a master's wand, potentially. But um, apart from that, that's a good start. Infinity boots have been claimed and it didn't take too long. A couple of hours, maybe. Not bad. And there we go, 76 agility, I can now use the shortcut at Zalandra. Very nice indeed. Finally, I'm going to move on and do some Slayer. <laughs> I'm very excited, I haven't done Slayer properly in a couple of months. So uh, yeah, let's begin. I don't know what my task is right now, but... Trolls, yeah, not bad, I'll kill the ice ones I suppose. But let's get on with it, I am very excited. I'll see you with some Slayer clips. Right, that was actually my 350th task in a row, so I got a lovely 225 points from that, which is beautiful. So let's get another one. 195 fire giants. Um, I don't know, that's pretty bad. I might just skip that, to be honest. Kind of boring. Hey, 60 wyverns. Alright, not bad, I'll do it. So I decided to come and get this level because I had it all banked. And there we go, 78 herb lot. I can now make the strongest boots you leave potions in raids, <clears throat> which is going to be very useful because I can almost start raids. Pretty much as soon as I get a trident, I can start raids. However, I won't do too many until I get better gear. Obviously, I need better Barrow's gear, um, Zora stuff, and uh, yeah, things like that to get a decent amount of points. But yeah, very exciting. I can start raids very soon, and I am looking forward to it. So yeah, there we go. Pretty nice level. Medium clue scroll is strength amulet trimmed. Okay, not too bad. I think I already have one of those, but yeah, pretty good. Just finished the task of 245 necrils. That was pretty beautiful, although I didn't get a single superior or a single heart clue, which is unfortunate, but oh well, it's still my favorite task pretty much of the game. Let's get a new one. Great demons. Okay, not too bad. Fucking multi as well. Um, I just hopped because there was a guy uh, killing Vetion. I don't think he was really a problem, but... You never know, he could have sort of tipped someone off. Um, so let's finish this clue step quickly. Could be the reward, so... No, it isn't, okay. Never mind! Oh, right, okay. I can... No, I'll just take the uh, teleport there. Not bad. Alright, here we go. Let me just bank my sharks quickly and then we will open it. I think this is clue number 105. I'll use this. Fucking garbage. Alright, let's go! Okay, 103. Path control teleports and a bunch of garbage. Not bad. Alright, first superior in actually quite a long time. Let's see what we get. 3,500 XP drop is beautiful. And some seeds and limpet roots. Can't complain. Taken up for the last task with these superiors here. Not bad. And nothing. Oh well. Okay, just got a dragon med helm from a blood veil. Pretty cool. That is, I think, my first D med drop. I've got one from Barrows as well, but. First actual drop, so pretty cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, shield left half, nice. Um, that's my third one, I believe, or fourth. Wait, is it my fourth? I, th I, I think it's my third. I'm, I'd have to check. Might be my fourth actually. But anyway, pretty cool. Shield left half and D med in the same task. All right, here's a hard clue score from Bloodveld. Way, nothing good. 
Holy shit, look at that, 160 cave kraken to kill, that is beautiful, I haven't had a cave kraken task in a very, very long time, um, let's check how many, I, okay, I have 137 KC right now, I'm not actually entirely sure on what the, um, drop rate is for the trident, but I will check quickly, I think it's 1 in 200, it is, I've scrolled past it, Okay, yeah, it's 1 in 200, so uh, yeah, I've got a good chance here with this task. Hopefully I should be able to kill about 200 with the bracelets, so let's give it a shot. Fuck yeah, dude, there we go. Trident has been achieved on the account, I am so fucking happy. Um, I didn't know if I was going to get one on this task, but we got one with 103 remaining, and that is beautiful. Let's check the drop rate on that one. My cat has jumped onto my desk just in time, thank you for that. 212 KC, so uh, just over the drop, weight, drop rate, uh, so uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's carry on. I am going to go and attempt to do one Zora kill. I will probably definitely get it because Zora isn't too hard with a trident, to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's go do a Zora for the diary, and then I am probably maybe going to do one raid just for fun, but that is pretty fucking awesome. Dude. Okay, um... Yeah. That's, uh, terrifying. 2 HP, okay, uh, I kind of risked it towards the end, but I guess I will try again. That was, uh, very scary. <laughs> there we go, mate. We're done. Got the kill, and... Raw Sharks, what a beautiful, beautiful drop. 339, okay, um... Not gonna lie, I got very lucky in the last kill, um, or the last attempt to not die there, but what can you do? I'll be careful, more careful in the future. And obviously I'm gonna chin my range up before I actually start doing Zora properly. But there we go, that's all I wanted for now. One Zora kill done. So here I am at raids, and I'm gonna do one just for fun with my two friends, and uh, let's see how it goes. I will probably get next to no points, and I might die at home because, I don't know, I haven't done raids in a long time, and I'm only 81 defense. Um, so, good luck me, I suppose. I'll see you with the loot. It's probably going to go terribly, but I don't have the regular armor on my side, so it shouldn't be too bad. Dude, it's dead. It's dead. Gone. Gone. Let's go. It's, dead. it's fucking dead. Ah! Yeah. 1kc, 47 minutes. Not bad. Hey. Fucking sick. I got a torn, dude, I got a torn scroll. 1kc. Oh, that's decent, actually. <laughs> Let's go. It's yeah. not because it's fucking useless, but... Hey, still, it's a fucking... Unlockable. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's, let's fucking get this shitty prayer then. Hey, we got preserved. Nice. Alright, so I actually ended up doing two raids in the end. Uh, I didn't get anything decent in the second one. I kind of died on Alms, so <laughs> that was unfortunate. I only got like 8, 8k points or something. Um, so, oh well, um, at least I got the Torn Press Scroll there. So, uh, I'm coming to kill Kraken now. Just gonna finish my task, I think, at the boss because I need the uh, tentacle, obviously. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a 1kc, so let's so see what we get for the first ever Cave Kraken boss kill. 10 battle staffs, fucking beautiful. About to finish my Kraken task, almost out of uh, HP as well, so that's pretty lucky. And oh, finished off with a beautiful drop, 100 Roll Monkfish. There we go, finished on 102k seeding, any drops from the boss, but that is okay. Not a bad task there. I'm going to actually go now and get a new task, and then I'm going to try and do some Byros with the Trident because. Obviously that makes it a lot better, and hopefully I can get some more Barry's items, because I don't really have that many right now. Uh, so let's go try a look. Let's see what tasks we get. Baron's Vectors, very very nice indeed. Alright, let's go to Barrows. Alright, 200th Barrows chest coming in. Hey, nothing. Not bad. <laughs> okay, well that is my second Varex Helm, I believe. I am 90% sure that I already have one of those. Um, got to expect some placeholds along the way, so I'm not going to complain at all. That is pretty cool, and let's just double check. Yep, yeah, okay, already have a Vax Helm, so that's number two. See you later, Neve, you fucking dickhead. Nice little Ellie there, and uh, yeah, about to complete this quest. Well, okay, that was a lot easier than I actually expected. Um, the Glove fight was very, very simple with the method where you just sort of step back once and let it auto retaliate, and then step back again. It's Quite simple, so there we go. I have completed Monkey Madness 2. Very nice. And uh, yeah, awesome. I can now go and claim my XP from the other guy. I didn't get any levels from that, but still nice my XP. And uh, yeah, let's go get 
some XP from the guy in Monkey or wait, Apatol. And then we can finally get to chinning. I don't think I've actually mentioned this before, but I did want to do this quest just so I could uh, start doing some chinning in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. And I know that you don't have to complete the quest, but I thought I would anyway. Just because I'm going to get a quest kit very soon anyway. So there we go, Monkey Madness 2 done. Arguably the longest quest in the game. And yeah, it is done. Let's go and do some chinning. This is some fucking fast XP per hour. Holy shit. 85 range. I'm getting 513k XP an hour. Um, I've been doing this for about... Just over an hour now, probably, and there we go. I could probably have enough chins for maybe one more level, um, so let's bang that out quickly, maybe get 86 range, and then I'm going to go ahead and complete the Western Hard Diaries, because I can't do that now, because I've killed Zora. All I need to do is the Chompies, which is the only really long bit. Um, but then I'll probably go and get Elite Void, just to make this a little bit better, and also, yeah, um, hunt some chins, get my range level up, so I can start doing more Zora, I can start doing more raids, um, so yeah. A lot of good stuff coming up. The side clue sit in the bank. Let's open it. Okay. War Blessing, Unholy Blessing, and a Zami page 3. That is a very nice clue scroll. 650k there, not bad at all. Let's check if I actually have that Zami page. I know I need one page to complete the whole book. But do we already have it? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go, the 300 jumpies didn't take too long, just over an hour probably, so there we go, the Western Provinces Hard Diaries have been completed. Very, very nice. Let's check this on Herblore, and another 15k XP, very beautiful. And the Western Banner 3. Um, so now I've unlocked the Private Hunter Chin area, which is nice, so I'm going to go hunt a few chins maybe, just see how it is, and uh, yeah, then I'll go back to some Slayer. Oh my god, nearly died. Let's go, there you go. Nice. Pressed. Oh. 73 grimy dwarf weeds, let's go. 730 lizard man fangs, let's go. Alright, so I'm done with raids now. I'm going to go ahead and get my first piece of elite void. I just got 200 points. So, there we go. The elite void robe has been gotten and I only need 200 more points now until I've finished all of the void that I'm going to get. Let's do it. I'm pretty excited and that goes in there. Okay, after another couple hours, I am finally finished with getting Elite Void. Let's get the top. Beautiful. Holy shit. Looking very nice indeed. Okay, that is awesome. I'm done with Void. I'm not going to get Mage Void because it's useless. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to have that done. Very nice. 360th task in a row, complete, and 75 points added to the collection. Almost 300 now, which is not bad at all. Spiritual creatures. <laughs> Definitely getting cancelled. Fuck that. What if it, dude, come on, Doradel, fuck off. Might have to go back to Neve. Or I guess it's Steve now. Lag? Hello? Kraken? Okay, nice. Let's see if we can get the tentacle. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Varax Flail. I don't think I have that. That is awesome. Um, another Varax item. Very, very nice indeed. Um, I'm going to need that for in the future when I do die at some point. Um, for, obviously, Venonatus and Callisto and stuff, so... I'm happy with that, let's check it in here, and it is not a duplicate, and I'm out of bank space, of course, as usual. <laughs> Great, okay, brilliant, awesome. Alright, well, I think this is going to be the end of the episode, it's pretty long, and I want to get one out today, so thank you guys for watching, these are the stats at the end, 1883 total, not bad at all. Next episode I'm going to be starting with some barrows, seeing if we can get some more items, and then after that... Um, continuing with Slayer, really, just trying to get up there, trying to get to 93 for the Western Elite Diaries, and there's Foe, um, just so I can do Zora, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now, thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one, goodbye.